Illustrator has a really powerful set of type features that make it easy to add text and change its appearance to match your design. In this video, we'll add some text to our unfinished logo and see how to change properties like font, size, and more. To start with, we'll add some text to our logo. Choose View, Fit Artboard and Window just to make sure you see the whole artboard. Select the Type tool in the Tools panel. There are several ways to create type in Illustrator. You could either drag to make an area to type text into, or simply click to type text at a point. In this case, we'll simply click to add some text. Click just below the pizza shape and type side, slice. Drag across the text to select it. The first thing we'll do to change the appearance of the text is make it bigger. With the text selected, change the font size by selecting it up in the control panel and typing in 62. Press enter or return. Know that you could also resize this type area to resize the text within. The next thing we'll do to change the appearance of the text is to change the font. Click the arrow to the right of the font family field. This list shows the available system fonts and any typekit fonts you've synced with your machine. You could choose a font from your computer or as a Creative Cloud subscriber, you have access to the typekit library of fonts. You can select fonts from the typekit library by clicking the add fonts from typekit button here. After clicking the button, the typekit.com website should open in your default browser and you should be signed in with your Adobe ID. Make sure that the sync option is selected, that way the font will be synced to your machine. Come to the search field up top and type in L-E-A-G. We'll use the font Lee Gothic in this project. Click on the name here. Click Use Fonts over here. Scroll down if you need and click Sync Selected Fonts. And then click Launch the Creative Cloud application where you can check to make sure that the font has synced with your computer. Go back over to Illustrator and with the text still selected in the Font Family menu, click the Apply Typekit Filter button to filter the font list only showing Typekit fonts. Click League Gothic to apply the font. Now let's fine tune the appearance of the text. With the text selected, click the word character up here to show the character panel. There are a lot of formatting options in here for you to explore. I want to add some spacing between all the letters, so we'll change the tracking to do that. Change the tracking value to 50 and press enter or return to accept the value and close the panel. I really think the text would look better if it were all capitalized, so let's do that next. Choose Type, Change Case, Uppercase to easily change the text to uppercase. To change the color of the text, we'll apply the reddish color of the pepperoni to it. Select the Direct Selection tool in the Tools panel and click to select one of the pepperoni shapes in the group. Click the Add Fill Color button at the bottom of the Libraries panel to add the color to the library so we can reuse it. Select the Type tool again in the Tools panel and select the text. Make sure that the Fill box is selected at the bottom of the Tools panel. That way the color we apply is applied to the fill of the text and not the stroke. Come to the Libraries panel and click the pepperoni color to apply it. So that the text and the rest of the logo artwork stay together, we should group them. Select the Selection tool and first drag the text into position. Then, drag across all the artwork in the logo to select it, choose Object, Group, and then save the file by choosing File, Save. With the text in place, we're pretty much done with our logo. Type can play an important part in your design, and what we've seen is a small but important sampling of what's possible with type in Illustrator. 